we had more than one instance of uh, employees of the Iranian government who were here under official cover conducting what was obviously surveillance of critical infrastructure targets. John Miller, the NYPD's Deputy Commissioner for Counterterrorism, talked to us in the department's Joint Operations Center. Tell us what you know about three Iranian agents who were arrested in recent years accused of working for the terror group Hezbollah. One of them was living in New Jersey. Alexei Saab was a software engineer uh, working as a subcontractor on large projects, having a normal job, living in the suburbs, living a normal life. But the entire time he was here, he was looking at every landmark, every government target. Another guy, Ali Karani, was selling counterfeit clothing and sneakers. Unlikely to attract uh, much of the attention of law enforcement, uh, but it's part of an illicit economy that generates tremendous profits that have been uh, exploited both by Hezbollah and Hamas. He pled guilty and received a 40-year sentence in federal prison. <laughs> Counterfeit cigarettes helped finance the first World Trade Center attack, a truck bomb in 1993. Miller said Iranian General Qasem Soleimani, who was killed by a U.S. drone last week, was using proxies like terror groups and militias to run sort of a shadow war against the U.S. He was one of the masters of it. For a country that uh, was hesitant to go to war directly against a larger adversary for fear of the fact that they would lose. <laughs> The palpable anger coming out of Iran and Iraq after the drone attack makes this a very vulnerable time for U.S. citizens and our military. When we tell people that we're going on a heightened awareness, those tips do come in. So there is no such thing as total security, but New York City has about as close as you're going to come to that.